Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic related to solution of ordinary differential equation. In that, we are going to solve a problem by using Euler's method. This is the second numerical. Let us consider a given function dy by dx equal to y dash equal to x plus 2y plus 3e raised to x with initial condition as y of 0 equal to 1. Now the thing is that we have to find it out value of y and the data has been given in this fashion point 0.1 in a bracket point 0.1 and a point 0.5 by using Euler method. So let me write first dy by dx dy by dx will be equal to x plus y x plus 2y plus 3e raised to x. Now what is to be given here? It is to be given as we have to start it from point 1, we need to end at point 5 and whatever middle value which is to be given is nothing but h, this will be h. So let me write it here, step number 1, y of 0 equal to 1 which is given, that is when x0 equal to 0, y0 will be equal to 1. Now what is the value of h? h is equal to 0 0.1 which is already given. So how to find it out? x1, x1 will be equal to x0 plus h which will be equal to 0 plus 0.1 that is equal to 0 0.1. Means we need to find it out value of y when x equal to 0 0.1. So I am going to write that is when x1 equal to 0 0.1 we have to find it out value of y1. So what is the formula of Euler's method y1 equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0. So substitute all the values y0 is 1, h is 0 0.1. What is your given function x plus 2y plus 3 e raised to x. So here we have to substitute x equal to x0 y equal to y0 and here also x equal to x0. So if we substitute all the values we will get 1 plus 0 0.1 into what is the value of x0? x0 is 0, y0 is 1. So let me write 0 plus 1 plus 3 e raised to 0. So you do it on a calculator 0 plus 1 plus 3 e of 0 into 0 0.1 plus 1. So you will get answer here as nothing but a 1.5. So this will be value of y1. y1 means what? It is value of y of 0 0.1. So this value will be equal to 1.5. Now in a step number 2, now as it is discussed in the numerical itself, we have to start it from 0 0.1 and we need to stop it up to 0.5. So now I will take it as initial value will be y of 1.5, sorry y of, let me correct it, it is not y of 1.5, y of 0 0.1 will be equal to 1.5. As we already discussed that, whatever answer we will get at the end of iteration 1 or a step 1, that we have to use it as an initial approximation or a next step. So I can write, what is initial value? when x0 equal to 0 0.1, y0 will be equal to 1.5. So now what will be x1? x1 will be equal to again x0 plus h. So it will be equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. Will it be 0 0.2? So that is, so when x1 equal to 0 0.2, what will be the value of y1 that we have to determine? So if you calculate formula y1 equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0. So what is the value of uh, y0 here now? It is 1.5 plus h is 0 0.5 into x0 because given function is x plus 2y plus 3e e raised to x. So 2y0 plus 3e e raised to x0. So substitute all the values, 1.5 plus 0.1. Now what is here x0? 0.1 plus 2 into what is y0? 
it will be 1.5 plus 3 into e raised to 0.1. So if you solve this on a calculator, you will get answer as 2.1455. So this will be answer of y1 or in other words, you can say that this will be answer of y of 0.2. So let me keep it in a box. This will be a final answer for this step. Similarly, we have to go for step number 3. Now what is initial value in a step number 3? Whatever will be the value which you obtain in a step number 2 or iteration 2 that you have to treat it as a initial approximation for step number 3. So y of 0 0.2 will be equal to 2.1455. So based on this, I can write it as when x0 equal to 0 0.2, y0 will be equal to 2.1455. Now what is x1? x1 will be equal to x0 plus h. What is x0? 0? 0. 0.2. What is h? 0. 0.1. So you will get here as x1 will be equal to 0. 0.3. So that is what we have to do here. We have to find it out when x1 equal to 0. 0.3 what is the value of y1. So again in the same way you have to use formula y1 equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0. So which is equal to now here what is y0? 2.1455 plus h is 0 0.1 into x0 plus 2y0 plus 3 e raised to x0. So substitute here x0 equal to 0 0.2, y0 equal to 2.1455. So after solving with the help of calculator, you will be able to get answer of y of 0 0.3 and this y of 0 0.3 will be, answer will be 2.9563. So this will be answer for step number 3. So likewise you have to solve for step number 4 and step number 5. Now as all of you, you know that how to solve these steps. I am going to write only answers for step number 4 and step number 5 because whatever steps that we have discussed earlier, it will be the same. So here in a step number 4, we have to take initial value as y of 0 0.3 will be equal to 2.9563. That is when x0 equal to 0.3 y0 will be equal to 2.9563. What will be value of x1? It will be equal to x0 plus h which is equal to 0.3 plus 0.1 which will be equal to 0.4. So what we have to do? We have to determine when x1 equal to 0.4 what is the value of y1. So you use the same formula. You just substitute value of x0 and y0 in a given function. So after solving, now I am going to write answer directly. After solving, you will get answer of y of 0 0.4 and which will be equal to 3.9825. So this will be answer for step number 4. And this answer of y of 0 0.4, you have to use it as an initial approximation for step number 5 or iteration 5. So let me take it as 3.9825. So again, if you solve this in the same way, you will be able to find it out value of y of 0 0.1 which will be equal to 5.2665. So this is what is a detailed solution of this problem. Here if you see, here you will get value of h as a 0 0.1 which will start from 0 0.1 and end at a 0 0.5. So this is what is the solution of first order ordinary differential equation using Euler's method. This was a second numerical. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you once again.